up guys welcome back to brick age studios and today i will be reviewing the lego store october 2016 mini monthly build this time around it was a werewolf of course to go along with the theme of halloween so uh, yeah without further ado why don't we just go ahead and dive into this review Alrighty guys, here he is, the werewolf, and uh, you might be thinking the same thing when I first saw this guy. He does not look like a werewolf at all, he looks very stupid and dorky, and uh, that's, what I've, that's what I thought when I first saw him. But honestly, the look grew on me, I don't know, it just, now I think it's kind of silly and cute. And if this, if this was a professional Lego set, I definitely would be, uh, I definitely would be hammering on that fact, I would be criticizing it. But it's not. It's a mini build, and Lego's limited when it comes to these mini builds because they have to uh, take a real life object, or it, obviously a werewolf, not something you'd see in real life. But they have to take something and then shrink it down into a mini build. And I think what they did here was honestly, it turned out to be very entertaining. Uh, I really like his face, even though it looks really silly. Uh, but that's what I like about it, you know? I do really love the uh, tufts of fur that LEGO puts in the design. Very simple, but it's a pretty essential part, in my opinion, for a werewolf. He's also got the claws here on his arms. And while we are on his arms, I just want to show you guys, they can, uh, they're attached to these uh, Technic pegs here, which allows them to easily uh, flip around. Here, I'll show you guys that. So that's pretty fun. It's a pretty simple feature, but mini builds usually don't have features at all, so a nice inclusion. Uh, and his leg fell off. Let me get that back on. There we go. As you can see, he has blue pants and uh, two feet, and he even has a little belly button right here, which I thought was really funny. I really like the different shades of gray all around on him. He's even got the tail there, as you can see. Gosh darn it, I keep breaking his feet off. Um, but yeah, there's really not much more to say. Other than this guy is honestly one of my favorite mini builds yet. Of course, he's got his ears. And yeah, while this is uh, pretty silly for a werewolf, I think it still turned out to be uh, really fun looking. And here we have our instruction manual for the werewolf. There's the finished build. Here's all the different steps to build him. On the other side, more steps to build him, and then we have the piece count. Average instruction manual, but hey, still cool. Alrighty guys, that wraps it up for this review of the LEGO October monthly mini build. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please just take a second and hit that like button. It only takes a second and it means the world to me. Also, sub to my channel if you're new because I upload videos every day, LEGO news, LEGO reviews, and more guys. And something that I did quickly want to mention is that I did enjoy the build of the wolf. Uh, it was really fun. I just forgot to mention that while I was reviewing the wolf, so figured I'd do it now. Also, uh, if things go as planned tomorrow, I will have the uh, November calendar overview out, which you guys have been seeming to love the LEGO Store calendar overviews. Thank you for your tremendous support on those videos. I would definitely keep doing them for you guys. Yeah, if things go as planned tomorrow, I should have that out, so keep your eyes out for it. But that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, keep on building.